In this tutorial, we're going to find the Laplace transform of uh, f of t, which is equals to 2 for t greater than or equals to 0, but less than 1 and uh, 0 otherwise. So for us to find uh, this uh, Laplace transform, it is better to first write it in terms of uh, the EV side function. But to express that function in terms of the EV side function, it is convenient to first uh, draw the graph of uh, that uh, f of t. So I'll draw the horizontal axis there, our t, and uh, the vertical axis, our f of t, and uh, we have our 0 there, and 1, and uh, 2 on uh, the vertical axis there. So our graph is 2 between 0 and uh, 1. So that's the graph of uh, f of t. So now looking at this graph, we can now try to write it in uh, terms of the heavy side step function. But in this case, we are saying it's a 2 there on uh, the vertical axis. So it is convenient to look at uh, the graph of uh, 2 h of t. And that graph I will indicate it by a white line. So let me draw my horizontal axis there, the t, and uh, I'll put a 1 there, and then the 0, and uh, go on and draw the vertical axis, and uh, put the 2 there. And then I'll go on and uh, I'll draw the graph of 2h of t, and that's 2h of t. And because 2h of t there is uh, 2 when uh, t is uh, greater than uh, or equals to 0, and 0 otherwise. And I also need to look at the graph of uh, 2h of t minus 1. The graph of 2h of t minus 1 is the graph of 2h of t, which has been shifted by one unit to the right. And I'll indicate that graph by black there. So I'll put that graph there. And that's 2h of t minus 1. I'll go in and call this graph, graph number 1, the one on top. And uh, the second one there, graph number 2. So what we need there is uh, we need to obtain graph number one from graph number two. And for us to obtain that, uh, we have to make graph number two zero in the interval one to infinity. So in this interval there that I've just highlighted, that's the interval one to infinity. And uh, to achieve that, uh, the one on top is a two, the one below is a two again. So for us to get a zero there, it will be two minus two and it gives us a zero. And on the interval zero to one, it will be two minus zero, which will just remain with the two. So that means we will remain with the graph, which is on top of the graph number one there. So to achieve what you want there, we have to evaluate two h of t minus a two h of t minus one. And because when you do that, it ensures that the part that I've highlighted there in the graph number two, it will be zero. So remain with one, the only part, which is uh, two between zero and one, which will make us uh, give graph number one. So in this case, what we'll be having is f of t is equals to two h of t minus two h of t minus one. So that's our f of t now in terms of uh, the heavy side uh, function. And you can now go on and take Laplace transforms. And we have uh, the Laplace transform of f of t is the Laplace transform of 2h of t minus 2h of t minus 1. And by properties of Laplace transforms, we can write that is the Laplace transform of 2h of t minus Laplace transform of 2h of t minus 1. And by properties of Laplace transforms, again, we can factor out the 2 since it's a constant. And we have a 2 Laplace transform of h of t minus 2 Laplace transform of h of t minus 1. So at this stage, you can now go on and uh, use uh, the Laplace transform tables to find the Laplace transforms of uh, those uh, two functions there. And I'll start by the first one there, where we have uh, the h of t. We look for a function which is of that form in our table there on the left. And we see that it is of the form h of t minus c. But in this case, our c, we see it to be a zero by comparison of the two highlighted functions there. And if we substitute c equals to zero into the f of s in the table there, we have f of s is equal to exponent of minus zero times s divided by s. 
and exponent of 0 gives us a 1, and we obtain 1 divided by s. And uh, I'll substitute that result above there, and we have a 2 times 1 divided by s. We now move on to the next one there, uh, h of t minus 1. It is of the form h of t minus c, but by comparison of uh, those uh, two highlighted functions, we see that our c there is a 1. So where we have c on the f of s in the table there, we put 1, and we have our f of s is exponent of minus 1 times s divided by s. And uh, that will simplify to exponent of minus s divided by s. And I substitute that result above there, and we have minus 2 times exponent of minus s divided by s. So that's the Laplace transform that we are having there. And I can just multiply throughout by the 2 there, and uh, our result will be 2 divided by s minus 2 exponent of minus s divided by s. So that is the Laplace transform of uh, the given f of t there.